Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting in the tiny house, finishing up my coffee. I've already done chicken chores, rabbit chores, looked around the garden, and my, my garden is basically about ready to peter out. Um, we've had high temperatures, and nothing has been going on, so that's why I really haven't done any videos. That video that I promised about how the world has gone mad, I just... I don't know if I have it in me to make a video that is going to sound coherent and won't get me like canceled from the internet because things are just so crazy right now so I'm still mulling that over whether or not I, I really want to talk about it because there's just so much awful stuff going on but here's the thing in my neck of the woods there's a lot of really really great things going on I found this beautiful huge mushroom on Mr. Lucas property not far from where I was cutting up wood with my chainsaw look at that so I thought immediately oh my gosh is this a hen of the woods and but no it's not it, it was between hen of the woods uh, black staining polypore or a Berkeley's polypore look at that so huge um, all three of which are edible and this is what it looks like from the underneath you can see the pore surface and I put it on paper bags and it left me some beautiful white spore prints and that also points to Berkeley's polypore. Um, all three have uh, white spore prints so I ruled out Hen of the Woods almost right away because the fronds are just too big and I ruled out black staining polypore because nowhere where I had cut or pinched or disturbed um, did the surface turn black and that's what a black staining polypore does so I kind of cut it up and I was really hoping that it was going to be you know tasty and delicious and, and palatable and yeah look at that quite a bit so yes all signs point to the fact that that beautiful mushroom which weighed it, it felt like five seven pounds in my hands uh, Berkeley's polypore and uh, so I sauteed a little bit of it up and uh, in some ghee and it was just too tough too too kind of like chewy so I think I got to it maybe a day late so I'm gonna keep my eyes open for them in the future because I know that there's gonna be more on of them um, and I'll just try and harvest them sooner and uh, cook them sooner so, but anyhow, uh, what else is going on? I've got an absolute ton of ripe tomatoes, and there's more out on the vine that are just about ripe. These have a ways to go, but this is enough to do a batch of stewed tomatoes. Um, I think four, four or five pints, so I may get that done today. And then I've got a couple big uh, summer squash. You know what I'm going to do with that, mock pineapple. And I've been dehydrating quite a bit of this uh, zucchini and yellow summer squash. This is uh, a little bit more than halfway full. So that represents a whole lot of food since I really only take a small handful and throw it into, you know, a stew or soup or whatever I'm going to put it in. So that's quite a bit. I've also been dehydrating more carrots. Yep. There's, oh... About a half, a little bit more than half this jar has been filled. I've got some more that I'm going to do, but it's too humid today, so I'm not even going to bother. I'll probably get those started tomorrow. But this also represents a whole lot of food. I gave Papa a good brushing yesterday, but as you can see, he still needs it more. But he loves to get brushed out, and he's going to get fixed on August 1st. Aren't you, boy? Yes, you are. So... I'm trying to kind of conserve on propane. I've got money for another couple loads of propane, so I think I'm going to make it at least until after he has his surgery because it's going to stay pretty, pretty gosh darn hot. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, he needs to get brushed out more. He loves it. Okay, and you guys are going to think I'm crazy. I had not intended to do this because... Well, actually, somebody else had uh, voiced an interest in hatching out some eggs, so I got the incubator from the next-door neighbors, and yep, I got some eggs in there. I do. The only problem is right now is um, it's at 72% humidity. That's actually a little bit high for when you're just starting out eggs, but I've only got, well, here, let me open this lid real quick. 
I've only got 19 in here right now. Can you see them? Um, quite a few leghorn eggs because I want some more leghorns. And these all come from either a Bard Rock, a Black Asian, or um, Patsy. Patsy's turned out to be a beautiful, beautiful chicken. So I'm going to see if I can get these to hatch out myself. See that? I opened it up just for a little bit and it dropped it to 55%. It's going to go back up. And there is no water down there in the bottom. It's just the whole environment is really, really humid right now. So I've left these little holes unplugged just so maybe some of the uh, moisture can get out. And I'm keeping it at about 100 degrees because that's what the instructions say. And so this is actually, I started it yesterday. So in a couple of hours, this uh, number is going to go down to 20 um, but it's been running on my solar. I can't believe it's running on my solar. It went all night. It didn't bottom the solar batteries out. So I don't know. I may be able to do this. Okay, I've had to fiddle with this a little bit because the humidity was just way too high. I started by kind of like opening up this, but then I went to... Let's see. Yeah, um, I have opened up both of the holes on the side and It's still beginning to rise so I'm gonna go ahead and Just open this just a teensy bit Let's keep it ajar just a little bit. I don't know if you can see down in that corner over there um, Just to see if I can get it down really what I've read uh, it's best to keep it between 45 and 50 percent humidity for the first like 18, 19 days. Um, the manual for this says to keep it between 50 and uh, 60 percent, but um, I've read differently, so I'm trying to get it down below 50 percent, between 45 and 50 percent. Um, so I'm just going to have to play with this. Also, the temperature that I had it at. Uh, 100 degrees from everywhere else that I've read aside from the instructions for this um, It says 99.5 throughout the hatch. So that's kind of what I'm shooting for Okay, good. I've got it down to 50% Let's just hope that it kind of stays in that range anywhere between 45 and 50. I'm gonna be happy with So who knows if I'm gonna be able to hatch out chickens uh, one thing neighbor family did say is you know in the spring, it's good to hatch out chicks, and then once again at the end of summer, beginning of fall, just because the humidity levels. But I'm going to give it a try. You know, I, I don't know. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. I mean, humidity is a little bit high, even though I haven't added any water, but I'm just going to see if I can do it. Just if I know that this will run on solar for 21 straight days, maybe 22, um, if I can do that, then I know that I'm going to be able to hatch out my own baby chicks and um, I've got someone interested in maybe getting some baby chicks well I don't think they want the little tiny ones I think they want them kind of like grown a little bit so they don't have to you know get heat on them and all that kind of stuff so I don't know we'll see we'll see if it works out I don't know if it will so with this heat um, one major problem is it's it's not cooling down at nighttime enough. Uh, I run the generator from about, depending on how hot it starts getting and how early, um, I might turn it on um, 11, 12, maybe 1 p.m. I've tried to wait till later on in the day, um, and then I'm having to run it until 9 or 10 p.m. at night because it doesn't cool down enough. Uh, for me be, to be able to sleep comfortably. Now yesterday I didn't run it I don't think I ran it at all. I think I may have ran it just a tiny bit. Um, but then I wanted to try and see if I could make it without running it like until 9 p.m. Get it really super cold inside the tiny house and then be able to sleep. No, um, it's, it still gets so hot and it's the humidity. Um, I just haven't been sleeping at all lately, and I can't run the generator 24-7. Um, that's cost prohibitive. Um, I still have some of the donations that were recently sent to me. Um, so I'm going to be able to get a couple, couple more loads, I think, of uh, propane. So hopefully that will get me through the summer because... You know, I'm exhausted, and I think it's because I just haven't been able to sleep very well. I, I get really hot as it is when I sleep. 
So, uh, you know, just having heat on top of that, oh, God, I know, I'm, I'm just complaining. Anyhow, um, I got to get to work, so that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.